People are watching. So if they're watching, give them a show. Hello? Scent of the day is Creed Aventus for her. Um, I don't know who needs to hear this, you guys, but I'm still getting dressed. Uh, my pastor's message was amazing. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you need to start. Stop waiting. Tomorrow isn't promised. Start now. Start today. It doesn't have to be the perfect time. You don't have to have everything all figured out. Stop waiting. Today is the day. Make sure you start. Don't wait. Any time that you've been blessed to have another day, given another chance at life, take advantage of it. Live your full potential or live to your full potential. Go after every single thing you want. Do not compromise. Do not settle. Do not wait. The time is now. Start now. All right, I'll see you guys after brunch. You guys want to know what I did? I brought the camera because I was going to go to this Fendi pop-up shop because it's with Skims. Um, yeah, but I forgot to bring the battery, so I'm back to recording on my phone. I'm trying to call right now to find out if you have to have an appointment or if you can just pop in. So, but I've been on hold for like 15 minutes, so I'm really not getting anywhere with that. But, I'm going to get as much footage as I can on my camera until it dies, and then we'll be back to my phone. I love Bijan. You guys remember there was a fragrance I used to wear there back in the day. If I can find a picture of it, I'm going to put it up. But oh my gosh, I was obsessed with this fragrance. Since we're coming down, I may as well just give you a little bit of eye candy. I'll see if I can get the Fenty pop-up shop. Oh gosh, the sun is going to make me not happy. This is a Chanel here, but it's currently under construction, so they are at another location. When they get done with it, it is going to be gorgeous. It looks like they have knocked down everything and they are totally um, starting over. But yeah, so that is the, going to be the new Chanel location. And then, of course, we have Goyard, Bulgari, Cartier. And I'm dressed like and I'm dressed like it's winter and clearly um, it's not you guys it's like 80 degrees okay and I've got boots on there's a Fenty pop-up store did you guys see it oh god <laughs> I went fast and Dior oh my god Dior got a makeover too gorgeous they already have the tree out. There is a bowberry. And they already have the tree out. I'm gonna try and get some of this stuff up close. There is one of my favorites, Louis Vuitton. There is a beautiful tree. This is a famous street that everybody wants to get their pictures on, you guys. You see that? The famous wall. And this is where we're gonna go to brunch at. Go ahead. Down, yeah. We've sat here before. I almost was lucky enough to get my favorite seat, but somebody's sitting there. It's a window seat. The lighting is amazing, but I don't want to wait for them to leave. But they do look like they're leaving now. 
But um, yeah, so this is the boulevard. I absolutely love it. I tell you guys all the time how much I love old hotels and old Hollywood and chandeliers and lighting and good food, good company. So happy Sunday. And I shared with you my fragrance of the day is Creed Aventis for her and my guy is wearing Creed Aventis. So we are double dating in the Creed department today. I hope you guys can hear me. That's why I haven't been talking because I really don't think you can hear me. But when I play it back, I'll find out if you can or if you can't. I will see you at the pop-up shop. like that beautiful people we are back i am going to light baccarat rouge 540 this candle's good um i don't know if it's great for the price okay light i need you to go down it is time to calm down i am back oh my gosh it was okay that's too dark oh thank goodness we are taking the makeup off because i am a grease bomb anyways um we are back guys I can always tell when I have not had enough water because my lips get extremely, extremely chapped and I need more water. So I am going to not be rude, but I'm going to sip and talk. I'm almost up to like a gallon a day. That's what I used to do. I kind of fell off, but I'm going back. I'm getting back slowly, but surely I'm getting back. This was a vibe for today, darlings. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this already, but in case you don't, hello, excuse you. I'm going to pop a full OOTD pic right here because I did pick a few. It was kind of dark in there though. We went to the boulevard. I tried to take you guys a little bit with me to brunch. However, <laughs> right when I was noticing um, the camera was blinking, I'm like, oh my gosh, the battery is dying and I forgot to change the battery before I left. That's why I don't do that kind of stuff because I, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot to remember, but I just, I have a lot going on right now, <laughs> period, in general. And keeping my mind focused and keeping me on track doesn't always work. So anyways, back to the candle I need to finish up telling you guys about. This is the um, Maison Francis Kirk John Baccarat Rouge 540 candle. It is beautiful. You know, I'm just that girl. I just wanted to have it. I had to have it and I have it. It's my first one. Is it worth the price? Probably not. Would I buy it again? Of course. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'll probably wait for a sale if it goes on um, at Bloomingdale's or wherever they carry it for like a 15 or 20% off. I'll probably pick it up again. No lie. No cap. That's what it is. I'm just that girl. I like it. And um, does it really give off a smell? It does smell like Baccarat Rouge 540. It's not that strong though. And I like a really strong candle. And it's not really strong. But in a small room, in a small area, it will definitely get the job done. Scent of the day, as I mentioned, was Creed Aventus for her. And my guy wore Creed Aventus. I think I shared this with you guys already. But in case I haven't, that's what the day was. Um... It was good. Green apple. Beautiful. I try to reach for something fall appropriate, you guys, because we are right at, what is today? November the 14th, 15th? November 14th, Sunday. And it's 80 degrees outside. I look, I was like, why in the world am I in boots? I have my combat boots on, my Belmine, Belmon, Belmine, combat boots on. And I have this oversized white shirt on. I just put like a little, um, I put like a V, a little V cami underneath because it had all this open. I'm like, she's not that girl. We don't show all that. Not over here. That's not my style. It's not what I do. You do you. Anyways, and I have some black leggings on. So, and then I carry my Dior bag because it was just only fitting and right. Uh, gold accessories, of course, uh, Chanel earrings, necklace, arm candy. Oh, I love this arm candy. I'm obsessed with arm candy again. And um, I just did a little bangle on this side. But this is a fragrance that I wore really, really good. It was hot, so I reached for that because I know that last year I wore this transitioning into fall. And it was really good. So I just felt like it was hot. This is crisp. This is clean. It's sexy even. It's still, like, luxurious. It's a very beautiful scent. Um, like I said, it's very... Um, it, when I first got it, remember I told you guys, I was like, oh, I don't see what the big deal is. It took me 
a minute to compartmentalize it and play with it and now it's perfect I absolutely love it so that is this here in case you're not familiar this is Creed Aventus for her that was my fragrance of the day now um, I don't know what you guys are gonna see in the vlog I've got to put it all together I'm here closing the vlog back out right now so I don't know what you're gonna see but I did want to share something with you. Why do I look so, oh my God, I am so greasy. I'm so sorry, I'm so greasy. It just is what it is, you guys, okay? We are close enough right now where we are just gonna blot together. I am getting ready to go take all this stuff off. I think I'm gonna do myself a face show today. What is today, Sunday? Did the housewives come on or is it over? I think it's over. The Potomac housewives. Did I miss it? I just can't keep looking at myself this shiny. Forgive me a second while I blot. I was so greasy at the table at the restaurant too. And so I have pulled these out. A quick 2.5. Give me a quick 2.5. So I have pulled these out because I was going to take a selfie. And, I, and I'll pop the selfie that I took um, right here somewhere. And I, um, I looked at myself in the viewfinder and I'm like, girl, you can't take a picture. You are so shiny. Um... And I didn't feel it was proper to blot at the table. So I excused myself and went to the powder room, of course, to blot. And then when I see my outfit and I see myself, I got caught up taking selfies. And then I forget that I even went to blot, came back to the table, still looking like a grease ball. So there was that. So anyways, um, I feel we're friends and family. It's like you guys are here with me. So I'm just going to blot in front of you. Hopefully you don't mind. Um, but I think I brought down the shine a little bit. That is much better. I am using my Chanel uh, blotting papers because even when she blots she wants to feel fancy darling so anyways um i'm not gonna hold you guys i'm not gonna keep you but i do want to tell you about this fragrance that i just tried out right quick and i will be telling you it's probably gonna be my next buy because to me and my opinion it's just really good where is it emb okay so you guys the fragrance is the new one by tom ford i went into the tom ford boutique to smell the fragrance they didn't have any samples but he did spray it on me um i didn't want to touch the bottle because it was a tester so he did spray it on me and oh my gosh oh my gosh it's so good and he also where is it if i could find it it's in my bag oh oh look 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 he also sprayed it on this card for me right here, right? So he sprayed it on this card. And you guys, this is good. This is good. So as soon as I get off of here with you, don't judge me. And I don't want to hear it. Don't at me. Don't judge me. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. We don't do that over here. I'm going to go put it in my Sephora card. And, it, and, and, and if I press send or purchase or whatever, I'm, I'm just going to press it. Okay. It, it, it's what I want. It, it, it's what makes me happy. No, you can never have enough. Okay. This makes me happy. It's Tom Ford. You guys know how I feel about Tom Ford. Tom, amazing job with this one. I absolutely love it. I must have missed that phone call. It's okay. It's no worries. <laughs> no worries. I'll just wait. I'll see you at the holiday parties. I'm just going to see. Don't worry. It's okay. I'll just look for my invitation either on the email or in the mail, but it's okay. You guys, this is really good. I would pronounce the name. You know, I don't know how to pronounce the name. I'm gonna place it somewhere here on the screen you guys some of the notes in it. It's woody. It's amber. It's smoky Oh my god, it's got a leather note in it. It's hot. It's sexy. It's a beast. It's heavy hitting I can't tell you about siage. All I can tell you is I mean I can't tell you about longevity because I don't know longevity I've only had it on for about two to three hours right now, and I can still smell it. It's still purring. It is purr. It's not a whisper It's not a kitty cat this is more almost like a dog. Like, <laughs> it's like that kind of purr from a dog, right? So it's really, really good. Oh my gosh, these kind of fragrances make my mouth water. And they make me very excited. They make me think about date night. It's very sexy, but it's like, it's sexy with an edge, sexy with a pop, sexy with some come hither. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm giving it all to you. Like, do you want it or not? Not like that, but like that. You know what I mean? If you know what I mean, hit the like button. If you don't, hit the subscribe button. You guys, it really doesn't matter. Just hit a button. Anyways, let me give you some of the notes. So it's very, it's an incense fragrance, I would say. It has Palo Santo in it. Black pepper. She loves black pepper. Violet leaves. It has leather. I told you, I'm all into the leather, oak moss, birch, wood, burning, something. I don't know. It has leather in it. It has labdomum. Uh-huh. Told you, told you. It has uh, rose. It has has ebony wood in it oh I got it I just found that fragrance at Zara ebony wood okay okay somewhere there it has um risen in it so you guys those are the notes it's a very hot fiery fragrance now here's what I will say looking at the notes that's great whatever right but when I went in and he sprayed me and he sprayed the card right 
upon me picking up and spraying and smelling it. I go, yes, I, I, I want this. Like, I love this. I didn't want to buy it there because I knew I can come and get it in Sephora and get my 20% off. So that's why I didn't want to buy it there. However, um, I'm always down to save a few coins when I can, okay? But anyways, it gave me Tom Ford vibes. If you smell it, you're gonna know it's a Tom Ford fragrance. It definitely has a Tom Ford DNA. It's really, really good. It smells to me right upon me smelling it initially I thought I've had this before I have this somewhere in my collection it smells like black orchid to me it smells like uh, Santal blush to me it smells like uh, uh, the new one I got from royalty scents violet patchouli or something like that violet Violet, was it Violet Patchouli? I don't know. One of them I got from Royalty Scents. It's all in that same family. It's all in that same DNA, uh, Tapaka, Shapaka Absolute, all in that same family. It's all in that same realm. They have another couple of fragrances on here that said it gave them reminisce to. When you go on Fragnetica, it will tell you that as well, that it said it gave reminisce to Black Orchid. Yes, it does. I said the same thing. And then the other one, the Black Orchid in the gold bottle with the, is it bourbon? or cognac, I think it's bourbon. One of those, it's in that family. So if you know you love those fragrances, then I would definitely highly recommend getting a whiff of this. You're probably gonna come back soon and I'm gonna have it because this is right up my alley. This, this is what she loves. This, this is why, <laughs> this is why it's hot. This is why it's hot. It's just good, it's good, okay. Yes, it's very good. I'm very dehydrated. I would, I would share with you guys why I don't like drinking a whole lot of water while I'm out. Like normally when I'm home, I try and get all my water in before I travel, before I get in the car, before anything, because I'm not a fan of public restrooms. I just don't like that. So I'd rather not really drink while I'm out. I know how much my bladder can hold, so I'm like, mm, how close are we to being home? Okay, I'm done. I'm cutting off right here. I just don't like public restrooms at all, at all. So I try and load up on water when I'm home and then when I know I'm gonna be out I cut it off because I know mm, I don't I don't like going in them it's just not a fan for me so anyways that is it I am sending you all hugs loves thank you so much for being here thank you for supporting the channel thank you so much for all that you do I love meeting so many of you over on Instagram you guys are coming over hanging out chatting I am getting to know you in so many different ways somebody was going on a date somebody's getting married somebody was celebrating their 50th birthday somebody was going to like a potluck you guys okay okay I have been given recommendations I have been giving like what you should wear if you're buying a gift what you should buy I am the fragrance concierge okay dwelling okay so if you're not coming over on Instagram if you're not following me I'm just saying how are we even friends the message today at church I told you guys don't wait don't let the time pass you by every day is not promised tomorrow is not promised don't wait like Nike said they said it best Nike said it best just do it some of you have even came in the DM and you're like I would love to start a channel I'm not confident um, I don't know if I have the right equipment if you have a phone start if you have a phone you have a voice you have something to say you have something to share gosh my lips are so chapped you have some, and my eyes are so red gosh um, if you have a phone if you have what a voice you have something to say you have a message to share start we all start somewhere nobody I mean if you're at where you want to be then that would be you done with growing and none of us are done with growing mm-hmm I am gre hold on I'm coming back I am greasy I am so greasy I'm so embarrassed right now I am so greasy I can't even take myself serious um but just start you guys don't let hindrance and setbacks make you or keep you from doing what you want to do you just have to start you have to tell yourself i can i will i am okay pray about it okay know your faith have faith that you're going to make it you're going to do what needs to be done and you're going to do it you're going to shine bright it is your gift it is your purpose use it do not spend another moment wondering should i do it can i do it what are people going to say if don't not be thinking about what people are going to say. I'm going to tell you, just like I, my mom told me. My mom told me this. My grandmother told me this. They talked about Jesus. They're going to talk about you. It's, it's human nature. It's what people do. It doesn't matter what you, what people say about you. It matters what you answer to. Let me say it again. Hold on. Get it, get it. Get the paper, pencil, write it down. It does not matter what people call you. It does not matter what people say about you. It matters what you respond to and what you act to. That's what matters. You never give anybody 
somebody your power and your control by allowing them to take you out of your element of who you are. You never allow people to get you out of that place of where you're no longer in your, you know, yourself where you're like, oh my gosh, I wish I wouldn't have said that. So a lot of times, you know what I mean? You have to see it and not see it. If you feel like, oh my gosh, they're going to judge me. They are. People are going to judge you. It's what they do. You got to hear it, see it, and don't respond and don't listen. I'm just saying. That's it, you guys. That was the pastor's message. Do what needs to be done. You have a purpose. You're here for a reason, okay? And if you're letting people hold you back or keep you from doing what you're doing, you're only hurting you. You're not hurting them because they're just still talking about people. It may not be you, but they're talking about somebody. So, may as well give them something to talk about. My mom also taught me, as well as my grandmother, people are watching. So, if they're watching, give them a show. Hello? Okay, you guys, seriously, though. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and I haven't even had but two cups of coffee. And that was earlier this morning. What time is it? <sighs> it's like seven. Oh my gosh, I have so much to do. Okay, you guys, seriously. It has been real. I am going to get myself together. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. And keep sending over your um, requests for vlogmas. Like everything that you want to see. Samantha sent over a video request. Girl, I got you. Okay, she sent over a video request. A lot of you are sending over video requests. That's what, um, I'm not going to keep talking because I could be here all night. You guys, that's it. I have to go. I will see you in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks for watching. Bye!